Good morning, students. I hope you all are fine and spending your quality time on studies. Let's start with today's chapter, that is Sources of Food, Module 2. Previously, in Module 1, we discussed about what is food, need for food, variety in our food habits, food ingredients, and we studied about the sources of food that we obtain from plants. Presently in module 2, we will discuss about, again, sources of food that we obtain from plants and then we will discuss about the various sources of food that we obtain from animals. Students, in module 1, you have studied about the different sources of food that we obtain from plants. Plants are the primary source of food and are called as producers. They are called producers because plants prepare their own food from natural resources like carbon dioxide, water and sun found in the environment. This process of preparing food by plants is called photosynthesis. They prepare more food than they need and extra food is stored in different parts of the plant. So we obtain and we get food from different parts of the plant. Let's talk about sprouts. You must have heard sprouting is the natural process by which seeds germinate and put out shoots, new leaves or buds. Sprouts are seeds that have germinated and become very young plants or you can say that sprouts are premature growth of a plant from a germinated seeds. Sprouting seeds produce nutrient-rich food containing proteins, vitamins and minerals. This is considered as a healthy food item and it should be included in your food habits. Let's see how to prepare the sprouts. To prepare sprouts, we take 50 gram of green gram or Bengal gram, muslin cloth and a container or a bowl. Take some dry gram, wash and soak them overnight in a bowl. Next day, drain out the water completely and wrap the seeds in a moist muslin cloth. A small white structure comes out of each seed. Such seeds are called sprouts. Let's talk about sources of food that we obtain from animals. Generally, we get milk, meat, eggs, chicken, fish. These are the materials that we get from animals. Let's study it one by one. Meat. Meat refers to the muscles and other parts of an animal's body. We get meat from goat, sheep and poultry like chicken, hen, duck, turkey and goose. The meat of cow, goat, sheep etc. has lots of fat and is called red meat. White meat contains less fat and is obtained from chicken, turkey, goose and fish. White meat is healthier and can be digested easily. Generally, meat is rich in proteins, vitamins, zinc, phosphorus and iron. Let's discuss about eggs. Chickens, geese, ducks and quails are raised for eggs and meat. Rearing birds for obtaining eggs or meat is called poultry farming. The egg is a rich source of protein and vitamins. The yellow part of the egg called as yolk is mostly made up of fats, proteins and essential nutrients. The white liquid part of the egg inside the shell is called albumin. Next important source of food that we get from animals are fishes and seafood. 
fishes are obtained from fresh fresh water as well as the sea water oyster crab lobster and algae are popular seafood fishes and seafood are rich source of iodine and proteins next very important and common nutrient rich food that we obtain from animals is milk cows buffaloes sheep goat are the main source of milk the animals which produce milk are called milching animals milk is also called an ideal food or a complete food because it is a very nutritious food that is rich in vitamins minerals proteins carbohydrates and fats we obtain many milk products from milk let's talk about it milk is also used for for preparing cottage cheese commonly called as paneer butter ghee curd khoya and seed products made from milk are known as dairy products some common dairy products are cheese this is made from curdled milk of cow buffalo goat sheep etc another milk product is cream this is made by collecting the top fatty layer of the milk paneer also called as cottage cheese is prepared by adding lemon juice or vinegar to milk the liquid portion of the milk is drained off and the coagulated solid part forms the cottage cheese next very yummy milk product is butter it is made by churning fresh cream another very important source of food that we get from animals is honey honey is produced by honey bees from the nectar collected from flowers it is stored in the bee hives honey contains sugar minerals and some enzymes it is easy to digest it has antibacterial property and medicinal value therefore it is used to make several ayurvedic medicines what you mean by the term enzymes enzyme is defined as a chemical substance that helps in bringing about changes to certain other substances without undergoing any changes in themselves with this we end up this module 2 thank you students be safe take care